Hello everybody, Zero One of One here. How's it going? Uh, we are sitting in the back of the Nautilus, uh, just kind of chilling here. Um, so I did pose a question in the last video about whether or not I should start the next chapter, and I didn't get any responses. So um, I am looking for something new to do, so I will be starting a new chapter. So, um, I guess we're just going to kind of leave all of the things here, and we will respawn. So, let's see, large cargo, and I'm just going to drop all that off, and that'll be good to go. Okay, so now at this point, I can do this, do the respawn, die sadly. But now we can pick ourselves a new... So we're going to start in the space pod. Now I have tried just the space suit, um, but that is incredibly difficult to do. Like from here, you have to find a wreck, and you have to go, and you, you only get one chance to do it. You have to go to the wreck, get inside the wreck, take over the wreck, and hopefully, hopefully, um, you can actually survive. But uh, the space pod is uh, it's relatively easy. So here we are in the space pod. Uh, we have the vent off, which is fine. All right, so this is our little tiny ship. So it's our little blue ship. And at this point, we don't have... Uh, we don't have a lot of things. Um, it looks like there is an ore thing over there, so that's good. Um, and we want to go towards, see, we are kind of off in the middle of nowhere, actually. So where is the alien planet? Because that will be our goal. Okay, so there's the Earth-like planet there, 2,376 miles away. There is the Mars-like planet there, and there is the alien planet even farther away. Ah, okay, so this is basically our goal. Um, this chapter will end when we get to the alien planet, and then we'll do a respawn on the surface, and then our goal for there is just to get back up to whatever ship it is that we make, and then we go from there to the Earth-like planet, which I thought was here, yep. So we have to go back over there, and then that will end... Uh, the alien planet chapter, and then after that, we'll do a start on Mars. And then that'll be like chapter six or something. Um, I think this is going to be considered chapter four. So, um, I suppose the first thing that I'm going to need, oh, what is that? That's, uh, which planet is that? Um, I think that's a chapter one planet. So that's Europa, I think. Or is Europa the moon? I don't know. But um, I did see that there is some sort of a node here. And I have to be very careful. We only have two days worth of power. So I need to find ice rather quickly. And it looks like we do have a couple of things on here. And I believe this has an ore detector. I could be wrong. It might not. But basically, we have to take this little tiny ship and somehow make it uh, out. So it's going to be extremely difficult. Um, also, we need to turn this thing off so I don't lose any of the oxygen that's in here. And it looks like our oxygen tank is full, so this is just going to vent out. And that's going to be pretty much all we have. All right, so now let me reset up my tools. So we have our basic tool there, we have our basic tool there, and we have our basic tool there. All right, so what is this? Silver. This is actually good. Um, it's good to find this right off the bat because from this, I know we can't do anything with it yet, but we can make... Uh, med kits out of this. So if we want to build like a bigger med medical bay or something like that, we can do that. 
And did I miss one? Yes, right up there. Okay. And then some rules for this playthrough is uh, we cannot, I have to be careful about how much I'm actually mining too. Uh, sorry, I'm just thinking about things. Um, we are not allowed to build a station of any kind. So anything that we build has to go towards a ship. And a ship is gonna be the way that we actually get through and do all the things. Okay, so I think that will be enough silver for now. So we picked up a little bit, and because we have a very long, like look at how close that is. It's like 766 kilometers away. A Triton, that's what it is. But we have to go to the alien planet, which I think is the farthest one out here. So a small cargo container. I will take these with me. Okay, so that silver ore should be good to keep us going for a little while at least. All right, now what is this? Is this also silver? This is also silver, okay. Let's see if there is anything else here that would be useful for getting other than stone. We are gonna need stone. And we're probably gonna need a lot of it. And then uh, also we're going to be getting a lot of gravel and we're going to have to figure out something to do with that. So it's a good thing that we have the sifter because the sifter should be able to handle most of that gravel. All right. I'm surprised that it's just silver on here. Usually it's like silver and gold or, you know, something else. But this will be good for now, I think. So let's uh, do some asteroid hopping and head to the next one. And also, might as well uh, recharge myself. All right, so that was that. And now we need to head towards the alien planet. Um, if I could remember where that is, okay. So I think it's down this way somewhere. Um, at least I thought it was. Hello, alien planet. We've got the sun right there, which is huge. Oh, and we have an assertive ship coming in already. Uh, we don't have any defenses, so we are going to be running from anything that could be doing us damage. Right now I'm just trying to find the alien planet. Okay, so there's Triton. There it is, way the hell, oh, and we have to go right in the direction of the guppy. Okay, so we're gonna head over to this one next and see what is there. And then hopefully that guppy doesn't send anything after us because that would be bad. Um, is there an antenna on here? I don't think there is. I don't think there's a beacon in here either. But let me just check. Uh, gyro, do we have any hidden blocks? We do. Okay, we have two batteries, some ion thrusters. We do not have any kind of antenna. So, what is it, the O button to turn off the antenna, I think? But yeah, so the guppy is not going after us, so that is good. And I think we can move a little bit faster. Okay, so I think I see something there, or it could just be me seeing things. I mean, obviously I'm seeing things, but I don't know if those things are real things or if they're just other things. But uh, we are not gonna be um, marking any of these asteroids because we're on a one-way trip to the alien planet, so there's really no reason to mark anything. So we just have to find what we need to find um, as we're going. And uh, hopefully uh, it all kind of sort of works out. <laughs> At least that's the goal anyways. Uh, something that would be probably good to put on here is a drill. 
Um, that way I can use this ship specifically for drilling and it would be a much faster way to get uh, to get stone. So that is an option. And I don't, I mean, there's like a little dark spot right there. I'm not sure what that is though. That might be silicon. I don't know. But now I just need to make sure that I can slow down in time. It looks like I can. And I have to be very careful about our battery usage as well, as we don't really have anything to uh, regenerate anything. So that's going to be, and that does look like silicon. Okay, so we will stop here, and we will get, okay, so it looks like if we're at complete rest and not doing anything, we have 10 days of power. But once again, as soon as we do any kind of movement or anything like that, then we start losing that. Oh man, okay. Fairly certain that that is silicon. Yes it is, okay. Um, silicon is not that critical for us right now. What is this? This looks like something. Nickel, okay. Nickel is nice, but I don't need it yet. Um, what about in here? That looks like more silicon there. Yes, okay. So it looks like this asteroid is mostly silicon and nickel. And given that that's the case, I'm not expecting to find anything uh, more rare on here. But I will do a quick check just to be sure. And I think I want to go to that one next. That one looks interesting. Yeah, so I'm not seeing anything else obvious on here. So I think it was just those few deposits. And I don't really have room for them yet. And one thing I am going to need to find is ice. So that will be something for me to find, I think. All right, so um, I guess we just uh, start getting stone. Okay, so that's it for that inventory. I do not have a lot of space. All right, so if we put the stone in there and then we queue up our production ingots, concrete, okay, gotcha. So we'll just queue up a bunch of that so we can start getting something. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. I'm going to try not to leave floaties if I can. There's another one. Which is uh, another reason why I want to get a drill going. Because then you have less floaties. And then uh, eventually we're going to have to find some platinum. So we can make some uh, better thrusters. Or we'll have to find a ship. Well, then again, without any kind of weapons, it's probably not a good idea to go after a ship. Floaties, 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 I don't see any. Okay, good to go. Let's uh, get our lights on. There's a floaty. Okay. Sir, do you, why are you not letting me in? Let me in. Okay, so we have a few floaties.
Oh, sh shoot. Um, okay, we need water. Because I'm going to start taking damage soon. So what I want to do here is throw in a dispenser just as a quick stopgap type thing. And I need interior plates for that. Okay, um, so if I do that, uh, let's see, dispenser, add that to here, and then queue that up. Um, here we go. Yes, I know. I'm working on it. And actually, I'm going to, yeah, we'll, we'll do it like that. I'm hoping that I have enough pieces and parts for this. Or that I've uh, gotten enough stone, I should say. I think we'll I think we'll make it. There we go. And now I need water. Take one of those please. Thank you. We will drink that. And then I'm also gonna buy myself a uh, I suppose synth food would probably work, right? Okay. So uh, with that in mind um, I'm going to head over to this unknown signal and grab that. Unknown signals mean money. Money means more stuff out of the dispenser, so uh, hopefully that works out. This thing has really terrible acceleration. And then also, uh, what do we have by way of Okay, 225, 17.6, 23.1. That's not terrible, I suppose. You need to get there a little bit faster. And then another thing that might be good to add on here is a solar panel. Um, and that's just that way I can keep the battery charged. Um, it's not going to be able to keep up with my rate of use but it should help a little bit at least. Okay, let's go and grab it. Hello. Rainbow gloves. Okay. And then what do we have for goodies? We have coffee, so that's drinkable at least, I suppose. And we do have a canvas. And then also I can use some of this. That if, if nothing else, we can always take that apart if we need to. And then all of this is just kind of free components, so that's good. And then 
we have a bunch of plate, which is good. Um, let's see, I'm going to need to make, oh man, this whole not being able to make a station thing is going to suck, let me tell you. Because whatever I build, I have to bring with me. Let's see, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten thrusters. Okay. Uh, can we do something better with what we've got? And then also, what do you have in here for... You are filled all the way. Okay. So that has 100,000 liters of hydrogen in it already. And then of course that's connected into the oxygen tank directly. But I can disconnect this here, but then I wouldn't be able to pull the oxygen out when I heal myself, which is gonna be kind of a pain. But at the same time, I could just throw uh, the bottles in there and do it that way. But then again, the hydrogen that I'm getting is only coming out of the H2O2 generator, which is where? This is just a conveyor junction. So I think the H2O2 generator is here. Yes, OK. So we're slowly going through our ice there. Um, I was kind of hoping to get some money because uh, this dispenser, like I'm, like like I said before, I mean, it's like food that you just have to pay for, so you don't actually have to build any of the this stuff to make it, which is really really nice. Um, okay, so now I have to find the alien planet again, way over there. Okay, that's Mars. Um, Let's head up to this one, I think. So one thing that I definitely need to do is upgrade the thrusters as soon as possible. But, um, what is that, a mining carriage? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, if I built myself a build and repair unit, I could go over to the neutral ships and grind them down and use them to sort of build new ships. But I don't know if I want to go that route, though. I think I want to actually have to, you know, build everything from scratch. I'm not saying I won't do it in the future, it's just that taking over a ship would be like way too easy, I think. So I'm kinda kinda don't really want to do that if I can help it. Um, another thing that would be good is to build an ore detector on here. And then once again also the drill, which would probably be a good idea. There's just a lot that I would have to do. Hmm. But I mean, that's that's kind of the point of starting off from scratch, right? It just gives you more stuff to do, more uh, variety, entertainment. All right, so let's see what, if anything, is here. Looks like there might be something down there, but it doesn't look blue. So if it's not blue, that means that it's not cobalt and it is not ice. And that's kind of what I need right now. Actually, 
Actually, that might not have been anything. Okay, so we'll call this good for now. Let's see if we can see anything. Watch me find like uranium or something crazy. It's like, it's great that there's uranium here, but I can't actually use it. Um, anything in all of this wreckage? Debris? No. Not seeing much of anything. And also, even zoomed out, I'm still not really seeing anything. Uh, let's see, there was something that I wanted to check. No trace elements there. Uh, that's farther away than I want to go. Um, okay. A whole lot of not very much here. I'll check out these things, see if there's anything in here. No? Okay. I mean, asteroids don't have to have uh, minerals on them. They could just be straight up stone, which, you know, is fine. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing much of anything here. So this was kind of a dud. Okay. So I think the first thing that we're going to do as far as an upgrade on here is to put a drill in here. And then I think I want to put it in this block space, which is going to take that apart, which is fine. Um, okay, so we'll just... Uh, Set this thing, take it apart temporarily anyways. Okay. Oh yeah, gun and ammo. Okay. All right, and there wasn't like a data pad or anything in there, no? Okay. So uh, next thing that we have to do is grab some of this. I already have some, so that'll work. And then we'll just throw the start of a drill on there. Ooh, I could do this one. Or do I want to do this one? This one is actually cheaper to make. But this one doesn't require any, well, large steel tube. Can I make the large steel tube in the uh, in this thing? I don't know. I cannot. Okay. So either way, I can't do anything with that. Um, let me think. No, I think I'm going to do just a vanilla drill. And we'll save this one for uh, the future. So let me throw that in there. Start putting that together. And then also I need to put the cockpit back in there. Okay, so that is, I mean, all of these require 100 computers, which is kind of ridiculous. That one requires only 60 computers, but it does require small steel tubes. That one also requires 100 components or computers. I mean, I could put the flight seat back in there, I suppose. I mean, I should have most of the pieces and parts for it, so. And then we'll put in the 
rest of that as well. Okay. And then put the rest of that into production. So we have our flight seat back, which is good. All right. Then we can grab all the pieces and parts needed for the drill. And then put everything else into production. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab some more stone as long as I'm here. I think I only gave myself like 700 space credits, so I don't have a lot of money. So I'll get myself another one of those, hopefully get my hunger a little bit more under control. Let's uh, see how this is doing. And we are out of iron. Okay. So it looks like I need more stone. All right. Um, can I move this closer? I feel that would probably be a good idea. I think I was up over in here somewhere, right? Oh, hey, what is that? Ah, uh, that's a window. Hello, window. Why are you, uh... Oh, I see. Okay. It did not like being removed, apparently. Unable to place window flat, why? Okay, I guess we won't have a window. I mean, not that it really matters at this point. But that does give us some girders, which we could use to build 
some solar panels. That is good. All right, let's get some more. Come on, game, you're not supposed to be freezing anymore. I am far away from everything. So I feel like I should be rebuilding this ship already. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, also, I would like to know where the batteries are in here. Are the batteries down below? No. What is... What is this? Interior wall, light armor block, okay. So there's the gyroscope right there. This is, I don't know, I feel like this isn't the most efficient way to go about doing this. Um, so if I did a small grid drill, I think those are cheaper to make. Um, man. Just trying to figure out like what I actually need here. I think the batteries might be under here. Yeah, so that's where the batteries are. Okay. What else don't I need? piece here or this piece really or a lot of these things honestly okay I'm not going to need this We 
we're going to need 12 large steel tubes. Okay. Alright, we are slowly making some semblance of progress. Alright, so we are going to need an assembler. So let me build one of those. <laughs> It'd be great if I could build like one of these little ones. That would be amazing, but I don't have anywhere near the parts for that. Uh, so we will do a tiny little assembler, and I need steel plates for that. Assembler. There we go. Um, we'll take the drill off for now. Just make sure that is in there the right way. Good to go. So we're going to need some pieces, so we'll throw those in there as well. And then, uh, let's see, I can finish taking off the rest of this because I'm not going to use this. Like there's, there's no reason for me to have this here. I understand that it's like for protection and for aesthetics, but I'm not worried about that right now. What I need is functionality. Ooh, wrong button. Okay. And that just needs large steel tubes now. And that needs the motors and whatnot there. And then don't know if I can disassemble in the survival kit. I don't think I can. Okay, so can I? I cannot. Okay. So that we don't need, that we don't need, that we don't need. So if we can just build these things here, and actually, hold on, let me go back into here, take off all the things that we don't need. We are going to need that, so we'll keep that in there. And then I will add just this, these parts in here, and then put those into the production queue. Why did it do it twice? I have it on here twice, right? Right, okay. Okay, so that's it for the steel plates. So we don't need any more of those. All right, what comes in here? Small steel tubes was kind of useful because I'm not going to need the doors here either so those can come out okay
Okay, so that is looking better. Definitely not going to need those. Okay, so now we need just computers. All right, good to go. So progress, um, I think. Also, I have to put those into production. Just make sure that's not in there already. OK, so then we do that. That was successfully put into production. Good to go. Now we can get some more of this going. to do something about food because I am going to run out of money. Why do I have a light here? I don't need a light here. Sorry for not being as talkative. Um, just trying to concentrate right now. Okay, so how are we doing? Okay, so it's going to do all the stone that it can first. So that requires iron and silicon, and I think we have enough to finish that out. assembler good to go all right now from here I can make the large steel tubes for the drill so we'll add those into there we go Grab those and complete the drill. All right, good to go. Now we can go in here and actually drill stuff using the ship itself, which should make things go a little bit faster. So let me go and put that in here. And the drill isn't actually connected to anything. So we're just going to fill this up until the drill is completely full. And then we can manually move things uh, to the survival kit to get that all built up or processed down or whatever. You know what I'm trying to do here. Uh, 
Okay. That is so much faster than doing it by hand. All right, and then we got 62,000 stone out of that, which is great. So we can start putting that into there, or we could just put it directly in here. Oops. Or I could put it in here, because that would probably work better. What is that? Omong tier 2, but it is pretty far out there. And then I'm going to turn off my antenna. So that way it should not pick up anything. I feel like I should be putting in like a cargo conveyor system down here on the floor to go back into here or to here to connect in. That would probably be pretty smart if I did that. So um, if I did these ones, they require metal grids. I don't have cobalt yet, so I can't do that. Okay, um, if I went with this, I mean, that would work, I think. Okay, hopefully this doesn't break anything. Okay, I don't think it did. So from here, I can put in a corner piece like that. It looks like I need motors. Okay. All right, so that is good there. We can get rid of that. Okay, and then we put in one more of those. So now that should be able to pull directly from the drill into the system, which I think will be good. And I want to redo this little bridge looking thing here and put in some actual full blocks here. And then this is all connected through here, through there, so nothing should get disconnected. Now we do have access to something there, so I think I'm going to put in, or at least start, a basic refinery. And so that has to go in, I think like that. Or do we want to do it, well no, we have to do it like that. Okay. 
So we'll start that there, and then we'll fill this in with some regular old blocks. Why is that not? Oh, right, 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 because that doesn't actually connect to that. OK, so that is good to go. Let me get rid of this, get rid of that. Get a little bit of extra strength in here, structural stability and all that, you know, good stuff. All right, and we'll put all of that in. And then this piece has to come out. Why? Oh, dude, you can stay right where you are. That can go there and there. Okay, good to go. All right. Probably should have been putting some of that towards the towards the basic refinery. Okay, so that should start making the components for the refinery. So that'll be good. Um, how are we doing on pieces and parts? Okay, looks like we're gonna need more inventory space soon too. Hmm. But we are slowly using up our inventory, so you can see that it is going down. So that's good. And then let me just grab all. Oh, good. We can build all that. Excellent. OK. How are our batteries doing? Fully depleted in 10 hours. OK, good to go. And then anything that is in here, we probably don't need anymore. So we'll take that out. Oh, wait, uh, let's just cancel that. There we go. Now, I think the survival kit is actually more efficient when breaking down stone when compared to the basic refinery. But the basic refinery is faster. So we're going to be kind of going with that for now at least. Um, okay, so what is the next thing that we're going to need? Um, huh. well, I suppose we're going to need some place to finish this off. Do I have any stored? I do not. Okay, so okay, I'll put all of that in there. Hopefully, that'll get us some decent stuffs. Okay, and we have officially gone through all of our stone. So let's uh, fill up a little bit more. Okay. 
Okay, so that should be good for a little while at least. And that should give me all the pieces and parts that I need to do this. There we go. So we have a new floor on our ship, kind of, sort of. And also, I'm going to change the color of the entire ship to black because black just looks better. So there we go. We have our ship um, sort of becoming something more of a usable ship, which is good. Um, I do wish I could move these batteries, though. That would be nice. All right, and we are at an hour in the video, so I think this might be a good place to stop. Um, we have our refinery, we have our assembler. That assembler is in a terrible spot, um, but I mean, there's not really much we can do about it, so uh, it's, it's, it's gonna be a thing. It's just gonna be a thing. Um, okay, so yeah, I think that'll be good for this episode. This is a pretty good start uh, for the chapter, I think. And it looks like all of the processing is done already. No, it's still processing. OK. But we're getting lots and lots and lots of stuff, which is great. Um, let's get rid of that. Uh, I want to see what I have for stuffs. I have 577 iron, 257 silicon, 123 nickel. Not bad. Um, we have uh, some additional stuff here, so that's also good. But yeah, I'd say a uh, successful start so far. So I think I'm going to end the episode here. Um, yeah, and I'll probably do another episode pretty much immediately after this one, just because we're in the beginning stages and we're making our way. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed, and uh, welcome to Chapter 4. Have a good one.